This is a quick video following a subscriber request on how to work with degrees, minutes and seconds. The good news is it's very, very simple. First of all, press Options, then F6 to go to the next set, and you want to choose the one under Angle. We've now got all of the different choices that we would want. In order to enter a value in degrees, minutes and seconds, you want to use this button here, which has got the degrees, minutes and seconds symbols. It's slightly peculiar in the way that you enter it, though. And when you type in some sort of an angle, press that one for your degrees, then your minutes, and then your seconds. Keep on pressing this button, but notice that the symbol doesn't change. You do need to put it after each of the parts of the degrees, minutes and seconds, but it's absolutely fine. Pressing enter, and it will actually convert that straight away into degrees. So this answer here is in degrees. So it's nice and simple in that way. We can convert from degrees into degrees, minutes and seconds quite easily as well. Type in whatever value it is that you want. Press enter. And then pressing this button will convert between the two. So there it is, there's that conversion. Pressing the button again, though, doesn't actually achieve anything. So if we wanted to work backwards to degrees for some reason, pressing this one on the next line, the answer will convert to degrees. Pressing that, and it does it. You can use this idea for entering degrees, minutes and seconds when you're doing any sort of calculation. So sine of 78 degrees, 56 minutes and 123 seconds and it'll do the calculation. If anyone has any more requests for things they'd like to see on the graphical calculator, just let me know and I'll try and make a video for you. Thanks.